Yo, what is up you guys? This is your boy Max. He's coming to shoot with a video today on how to improve your shotgun accuracy in the War 4. So, some basic things that you will be able to have to get down and master are shot timing, shot placement, um, your sensitivity that you're comfortable with, and knowing when to blind fire, pop shot, and hard aim. Um, make sure like the easiest way to practice these things are to like sit in private matches, make sure you just stay dedicated to the game, literally play the game guys, it's, it's that simple. Um, the easiest way to do it in my opinion that I, I do a lot and I still do it like to keep on improving my shotgun gameplay is I will often start, like, start private match lobbies like here and, and uh, I sit into this lobby for like an hour and so just run around like a free for all and just, just you know, your shotties only. It actually helps a lot because you, you start to learn like a lot of maneuvers and, and different rhythms and how you want to play the game yourself. So um, first thing I talked about and the first thing I want to talk about is shot timing. So shot timing is basically the same thing as people would say holding your shots. And this is a very huge key factor in Gears of War 4 when using the Nasher because unlike any other Gears of War, nobody would really hold their shots because in previous Gears, the shotgun had an extreme amount of damage compared to the one in this game. So holding a shot was actually useless when there was like uh, certain one shot down ranges and that will automatically be a down whether you have, like, held your shot or not. <clears throat> This game has a very distinct chunk range, and you notice players like um, like Mental that are very, very good at holding their shots, and it often looks very, very easy and simple for them. Um, often you will notice them just walk up to their opponent, opponent like this, and just instantly just shoot them. It's because it's like so simple, there's no need to like do like, you know, over move or anything because of the chunk range and you'll easily kill yourself. So, um... So number one, what you want to do is, so number one, this kid's being retarded. <laughs> so number one, what you want to do is, you want to stay still, okay, and learn the chunk range, right? So it's simply, what you want to do is, from right here, right here it will be like a chunk range. For, with a shotgun, that's the chunk range, okay? So you have to notice that when you're walking up to somebody, so like, in the middle, I'm gonna say it like this. Hold on. So like, all right, he's right here. I'm right here. Usually, both ones are gonna be walking to each other, and you have to really just just learn that timing. It's hard to really teach timing, you guys, but this is just a huge key factor, and it just like that's why I say you must practice because it's not something you will instantly get. I I even like, you know sometimes die by just you know walking up to each other because sometimes your timing isn't you know the perfect. You know what I mean? It's just like playing baseball. You know, you get a strike, you swing early, you swing late. And so it's one of those. So, holding shot becomes very important in this game. Um, you get to you get to learn to not waste your shot when you're like when you're like this close. So you won't like say so your opponent don't want to just walk up to you. So like say if he shot me just out of nowhere, I just walk up to him because by the time that he cocks his shotgun again to, to um, do his next bullet, I would just instantly just kill him. Um. So with shot placement, this basically has to do with not aiming too high, not aiming too low. Like you always want to keep your shotgun centered. Sometimes um, make sure that you always have an active. Uh, it's very like efficient because it really does change the game like for you a lot because um because there's like a lot of the three shot down ranges for, like right here without an active. From like um, right here to, to the pillar, three shot down range, and with probably an active, it'll be just a two shot down because the first um, shot will four point your opponent. So that's real good to play with. That was a two shot range with uh, on, like without an active, so width will be like a little bit farther. Um, the last thing you guys need to learn that's just extremely essential to improving your shotty gameplay is. 
blind firing, pop shotting, and hard aiming. So, in this game, what I do normally as a player, I like to, uh, to slay a lot. So, uh, I'm usually in an offensive aspect. And I usually like take covers and I uh, mainly pop shot and, um, and blind fire. Unless, unless there is a hard aim range, because like everything is situational in this game, because escalation is not, it's not like set things gonna happen automatically because of rotations and stuff. So you might be in different positions. You know what I mean? You might be holding the left hand, might be holding the right hand. You literally have to get used to, to like holding your shots, um, knowing like when to pop shot, when to hard aim. So like from right here, so where he is now, I will, I will probably just hard aim this first shot, then hold it a little bit, see what he's gonna do. He's gonna walk towards me, then I'll just roll back maybe, or just hit him with another brick. But just make sure you don't waste your shots too many times, where he can just instantly walk up to you from just holding the shots and just shot you, because I see a lot of players get chunks like that a lot. So pop shot is very offensive, like, uh, it's very efficient when wall bouncing. I do it a lot, like, sometimes um, while wall bouncing, I'll be like this. And it looks like as if my screen is going in a little bit. And this helps me because even if you're not accurate, sometimes you'll be aiming right here and you will kill your opponent if he's like against the wall or if he's on this side. It's like, it's very weird, but it, it drags your opponent into the shot. Um, the only problem with this, uh, which I believe is just mainly patched right now, I haven't seen have as much, is uh, backpacking, which is shooting someone that's behind you while you're aiming for it so say I'm, I'm looking ahead of me I can have a teammate right behind me like and I just like I shoot for it and I just somehow kill him it's very weird but I don't haven't seen it happen in a long time so I don't believe you have that problem in, at all um blind fires are very good because like you you, you like the shot spreads a lot more so you, you have a, a very like least chance of uh of missing because they're the, like the splatter of the shot as it goes out, it goes out wider, it was focusing the shot more. So like say you wall bounce like this, it'd be harder to hit him while hard aiming because like my screen is dragging a little bit. Um, make sure you have aim assist on. That really helps out. Uh, you'll find out in your controller settings. That really helps out gameplay a lot. So that's basically it guys. The last thing which is a bonus to learning how to use the shotgun a lot is movement. Now that's that's my really my favorite thing about this war. I'm I'm a huge fan of the movement input, the movement system. I like to, you know, to like wall balance, strafe. I like I like to make my you know movement like flashy, unpredictable. It's it's fun to do. It makes the game more fun to play for me. And um I'll make sure I make a video on how to wall balance, uh strafe. And, and do a few different like unpredictable schemes like um i'll just give you a quick one real fast like one that you can do a lot that uh, it works but it may look dumb on your screen is just simply walking to the left then this works because if you walk to the left your opponent every single time he aims at you he has to he has to shoot you again like a little bit more to the right he has to go a little bit more to the right and he's often gonna miss that shot so watch i think he'll probably find me right now so i'll just keep on walking to the left and he just keep on missing shots. If you walk one way, you want to will often just want to escape that range. I'm not gonna deal with this again. All right, so that's basically the end of this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you learned some things. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. I'm also starting a Q and A series, so. Ask me some questions like, like any personal questions like about like events or anything gears related. I would love to answer and we'll be sure to answer them in my series if they're appropriate. As I said, see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys 